So, this is uh, my wife's car, uh, 2011 Honda CRZ. It's a hybrid. And uh, it's been throwing uh, cold, and, you know, it's giving me a little trouble. It's a P303 code. What happens is when you start the motor up, okay, it's running fine. But when you uh, give it a little gas, See if it'll show the fault. Yeah, it's on an emission code, and it'll throw a VSA system um, code as well. Which, let's kind of scroll through all this. <clears throat> Which. I changed the plugs and <clears throat> working my way back out I read a lot of literature online that uh, get this out now, that the ignition pulls will actually cause these two faults on uh, for P203 and when I went to advance to uh, check on my price, they were trying to charge me right, $99 or 100 bucks for one coil pack. And I, I told my friend Al, he's like, dude, just go to Rock Auto. I went on there and I put the code in and I got all four coil packs for uh, $140, which is saved me a tremendous amount of money. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put the coil packs in and uh, see if that helps uh, the fault. So stay tuned. So we have the OEM uh, replacement ignition coil packs. Uh, they're Hitachi for this uh, 2011 Honda. And <coughs> I was <laughs> I was originally going to be a, a cheapskate and go with uh, the $14 coil packs. But, but I figured uh, I would just sometimes i've heard rumors that uh the actual uh, the, the the electronics won't communicate as well with a cheaper part uh to the obd computer but i don't know if there's any uh, uh salt to that statement but i'm not going to take a chance uh with that so let's get these bad boys in there and see if that helps the engine fall So I got these little, uh, um, I don't even know, little picks, set of picks from uh, Harbor Freight for like a buck. And if you do any kind of electrical work, electro electrical electronic work, you know, small thing, that uh, these things are really handy. I'm figuring out how to get that out, slip that up. Oh. And they're for a buck. I mean, you can't beat that. I've used them to clean out my iPhone when it wasn't in charge. Well, that's one of them. So I got all four coil packs of uh, um, motor, and I got the new ones put in. And on the Honda, it runs one, two, three, four. Uh, I was getting a misfire code in cylinders one and four. I was like, I'm not going to run around and go through what is it, 4 times 3 times 2 times 4, what is that, 12, 24, 20, 24 possible different combinations of the 4, I think, if that's the permutation, but whatever. Uh, I didn't want another trick. I uh, didn't want to do it. I just figured uh, I'd replace all four of them and save me the heartache if one of them went bad. But the thing is, I've got two possible good ones, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to take a multimeter and check continuity and see which two are the good ones so i have two backups now uh yeah so i changed out the coil packs i'm gonna take her for a little spin and see how she does seems 
to be running just fine. Oh man, a lot better than what it was because the whole uh, your your like your powertrain would go limp. You couldn't get it past like 20 miles per hour, and uh, a lot of people that I saw on the Honda forum uh, forums were saying the same thing. You know, just change out your cool pack, but. My wife hadn't changed uh, the spark plugs out on this uh, CRZ since she owned it. So I figured, well, I'll change that out. And uh, then we'll, if that doesn't solve it, we'll go to the coil pack. And it seems to be doing fine. I mean, that's that daggone uh, P303 code, you know? And uh, yeah, it's taking her out for a spin. These are uh, pretty fuel efficient cars. Um, I was getting a ride around 37 before she went down on me. And they're just good cars, you know. I, I can't knock them. And, I mean, my, my friends kind of heckle, heckle me a little bit where I'm so tall and it's such a small car. But, you know, the money you save in fuel, I could care less, you know. But, yeah. So I hope that uh, helps you with your problem. So it helped me with mine, and I'm glad to get this <laughs> uh, fuel efficient little car back so I can drive it to work. But thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more. DIY videos. So thank you.